I mean, I had enough trouble with single Bonds. I want to go back to the days of where I was like a single James Bond as opposed to like a double date on James Bond. I don't even know. Okay. So, I pick up oxygen and then I bond I pick up box I pick up an oxygen molecule. I bond it and then I pick up an oxygen molecule. <clears throat> and I okay, so I pick up two oxygen molecules and bond them. Does this bond them together? Like, doubly? Or does this create a single bond between them? If it creates a single bond, then that means I have to pass over the bonder twice. If I have to pass over the bonder twice. There's... There's one, two, three, four, five more instructions on my control pad down here that are currently locked. I can do five more things in this game! No, no. <laughs> I don't like doing anything in this game. I like doing one thing, not five more things. If this was a game about making pretty pictures with the tracks, I could totally do that. I'd be great at that. Oh, what the hell? You have a loop back and forth for forever. I like that. Oh, no. And that means that these probably let you break the track and, and, and make it like, these are probably conditionals. Oh no, oh no, okay, 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 let's not get too scared. One thing at a time. So, we want to, we want to input on alpha, grab an oxygen, come over here. Drop off one thing. Okay. Okay. So we want the blue thread then to also pick up a oxygen and do an in on alpha. And then the blue thread will come down here and okay so the red thread can drop off like there and the blue thread can drop off like right here and it can do a bond and then this can do no no that won't work it's gonna do a grab. This is gonna give it a single bond, though. And then drop... here... and... output on Psy. And then this is sad, and nothing's making any more sense anymore. And... okay. And I need to put in sinks as well. So... this should... this should sink. And then, this should sink after it does the drop off, so we don't have any, like, overlap in this area. Okay, so that sinks there. That grabs that, puts it down, it does a bond. And then that's a single bond, so it doesn't do anything correctly. <clears throat> so this should come through twice, and then... Before it gets grabbed, we need to bond it again. And then... How many layers do I have? I just have two layers, right? I have red layer and blue layer. Okay. So I want I want this to loop... Like, go through a loop and just hit bond over and over and over again. Or like a... Yeah, I guess I could do that. But then that might be a problem, too. Um... Because I'm currently single bonding the oxygen. So I need to hit bond and then loop up. I can't, I don't know how to do loops because I can only do infinite loops with what I know how to do right now. Unless I was able to, if I was able to overlay like threads. Then I would be able to like have it go like like this and like loop through it twice and then exit the loop. But if I do something like this, 
it just goes like for forever in a in a circle like that <coughs> which is almost kind of useful if i were to say the one drops it off and then one does two bonds and then it gets picked up uh but then that doesn't really do it could work to do it that way and then I have to use sinks to count how many times I, I've done it. So that this... So that what this would do then... Is it would... Drop... We can use... We can do grab drops, drops as well. So I can do... Uh... A red sink. But I can't do this instruction again. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I can. Because I can do some sort of overlaying. Come down through here, like that, and then come up through this area, and then do the drops and the out. So this will, this will work. Oh, I'm starting to see how I can do loops. You can loop through areas, and you can also do infinite loops. Alright, what is this going to do? So this grabs, and then drops, and then we'll have to come back down and do it again. Like that? Because this only grabs one oxygen molecule right now. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to come down, and then grab drop something on this reactor tile, then drops something in that reactor tile. And then this will bond twice. Just like infinitely, but that's a really bad idea. We'll get that synced up in a bit. Let's clear some of these other, this like crap out. So we grab one, and we drop it off here. Uh, on this tile. And then we want to immediately head up. We'll delete these nodes. Come over here. If I come down like that, I can do this a little bit differently. And then this time when we approach it from the top, we can loop through down here. Go to the right and do a drop, a grab drop. So this will double as both picking up the molecule and uh oh no we don't even need to do, we don't even need to do that if I do a drop and then let this baby like loop back up to here this is starting to look correct <coughs> and then the next time the blue node comes through here we can do a grab. And then I'll put it on Psy. So we'll do a drop instruction there. And we'll do an output instruction. Now we need to come up there. Drop out Psy. And I think this does it, except for the fact that I need to synchronize everything. So, this needs to be synced twice, and then, no, 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 this needs to be synced on this step. No, because it'll need to be synced, ah, okay. It needs to be synced there. And then this needs to be synced here and then we can sync there to signal that we've that we're ready for this guy to bond stuff and then we want to if I remove that sync node let's see what happens okay so we grab one oxygen came down dropped it off grab another oxygen ah oh, crap okay I need to do another input I can be more efficient if I do it this way. And just use that same input node again. Or input Waldo. So grab the oxygen. 
We dropped it off. We input another. We grabbed that oxygen. Drop it off sink. That bonded it once. That bonded it again. Grabbed it. Dropped it off. Output it. And the last but not least thing I needed to do is I needed to set this to be output on Psi. And I actually, actually solved this puzzle. I don't know if I was able to explain my thought processes in any way that made sense. But I solved it. Unreal. All right, let's uh, let's let's let this baby run. Hey, I was below average again. Awesome. <laughs> I assume a lot of people just look up the damn instruction or solutions for everything. Or maybe they're just better than me. I don't know. I'm getting a headache. <laughs>